kindergarten scholars, it's time for guided reading. And this week, the reading strategy that we're practicing is stretch it out. And just so we can remember and start getting our brains warmed up to read our book today, when we stretch it out, we look at the word you don't know. Then you say each letter sound. Then you say each letter sound faster. Fourth, you say the word. Five, read the page and then you ask yourself, does that sound right? And also remember, you can look at the picture to also cross check. So now we're gonna move on to our story, which is Mongo and Cutie. And remember, if we get stuck reading a word we don't know, we're gonna stretch it out. So like I said before, we're reading Mongo and Cutie by Gladys Osborne. This story is about a dog named Mongo and a cat named Cutie. They do not get along. Let's read and find out why they do not get along. And remember, if we get if we get caught up on a word, we're gonna stretch it out. So grandma comes for Hmm, I don't know this word. Let's stretch it out. L -unch. L -unch. Lunch. Grandma comes for lunch? I think that sounds right. Grandma comes for lunch. Cutie comes with her. Mom tells Mongo to play nice with Cutie. Cutie does not play nice with Mongo. Mongo tries to run. Mongo tries to hide. Help is here. Mom is back. Mongo never, mm, what is this word? Let's stretch it out. W -a -n -ts -ts. W -a -n -ts. What? What? Nah. Want? Want. Mongo never wants to play with Cutie again. Good job today reading kindergarten scholars. Now before we before we leave, we have to add, we have to go through our questions. So the first question is why was Cutie at the house? Good job. Cutie was there because grandma and mom went out for lunch. What does Cutie do? Cutie was not nice to Mongo at all. He bit him and she was mean and not nice to Mongo at all. Why does Mongo never wants to play with Cutie again? Right, because 
Cutie was not nice to Mongo. Has there ever been a time when someone was not nice to you? What did you do? All right, thanks. Thanks, kindergarten scholars.